Now I'm just going to give a brief uh, review of the Microsoft Editor, which is included in Office 365. So that would include Microsoft Word, which I have here. And here we have a... So just before I jump on, the Editor is located in the Home tab, and it is here. If I click that on, there you have at the side a sidebar outlining the score of the text in terms of grammar and spelling. Now, if I click, so as you can see there, there is a broken uh, line underneath certain words, and this is Microsoft Editor outlining concerns that it has. So it's saying there is a difficulty here, but it's not giving a suggestion, so I just ignore that. I move on to the next. And it's giving a suggestion. It's not, it's not uh, grammatically incorrect. It's not spelt incorrect, but it's just a saying, suggesting that it may be more concise to use this word instead. You can ignore or incorporate accordingly by just clicking on the word. And here again is another example. So this is the correct word. That is a grammatical mistake. So I press that. And again, these type of grammatical mistakes, they don't necessarily incorporate a, a spelling mistake, but they just put in <clears throat> a word out of context, especially words that sound the same, and so on and so forth. Now, it isn't 100% accurate, Microsoft Editor, in terms of correcting. And uh, for instance, here, place, that is the name of a fish. But in this context, it clearly is in the context of a location. So that is a classic example of a spelling mistake. And in the context of somebody with dyslexia or some literacy challenge, that may be difficult to, to identify. So let's go over to the editor itself there on the side. And it's giving a score of 88% in terms of its spelling and grammar. If I click here, it gives, again, a suggestion as to what to change. Again, I could have done that in the actual text itself, itself, but you can also do it here on the ribbon and move through the actual items, words or phrases that are flagged by Microsoft Editor and make your changes accordingly. <clears throat> now, if we go down here, it gives refinements in terms of clarity, conciseness, and so on and so forth. And um, overall, it is the first tool in the arsenal of grammar checking for text mistakes, grammar and spelling mistakes in documents. And this could be in the context of Microsoft Word. You can use it in Outlook if you're using email. You can also use it as a plugin in some of your browsers, like like the Google. Google Chrome, and so on. Now, in comparison to the proprietary tools, like Grammarly and the other tool, Ginger, it doesn't, it's not on the same level. It's not as good, it's not as accurate. But as I said, if you don't have access to those tools, it is, it's, uh, and it is a tool to help in any other case. And the, the alternative again then, which I've outlined in the previous video, is to copy and paste your text into uh, auto -gener uh, text generated AI, for instance, ChatGPT. And just before you paste in the text, just state, make this more Check if this is if there are any spelling or grammar mistakes. Put a call on in, paste in your text, and it's usually very good at picking up all of the mistakes in the text. So to conclude, Microsoft Editor available in Office 365, Microsoft Word on the Chrome browser and in Outlook, etc. Very useful tool for an initial check of spelling and grammar. Thank you for watching.